In 1833, 25-year-old Russian mother Edvardkia Konstantinova Antonovova bore an illegitimate son to Georgian prince Luka Jedishkanvila, but instead of claiming his newborn son, he had him registered instead to one of his serfs, Porfiry Borodin. And so began the life of Alexander Borodin. As a young boy, Borodin received a good education. His two loves were music and chemistry. As a naturally skilled musician, he learned to play the piano, the flute, and the cello. He eventually earned a doctor in medicine at the Medico-Surgical Academy and pursued a career in chemistry. While a professor of chemistry at the Academy of Medicine, he courted and married Ekaterina Protopopova. His wife loved to play the piano and read, and one of her favorite stories was the Greek play, Oedipus Rex. In his chemical profession, Borden gained great respect, being particularly noted for his work on aldehydes. He worked in the laboratory of Emil Erlenmeyer, working on benzene derivatives. He also spent time in Pisa, working on organic halogens. Even though he loved music, it remained a secondary avocation for Borden, outside his main career as a chemist and physician. In 1861, Borden developed a method for preparing methyl bromide from silver acetate. This method was originally called the Borden Reaction. In 1872, he announced to the Russian Chemical Society the discovery of a new byproduct in aldehyde reactions with properties like that of an alcohol. Borden published his last full article in 1875, which concerned a method for the identification of urea in animal urine. He died suddenly during a ball from heart failure in 1887. He was buried in Tikhvin Cemetery at the Alexander Nevsky Monastery in St. Petersburg, Russia. Seventeen years after Borodin's death, two people were born that would eventually be the undoing of his famed Borden reaction. Heinz Hunsdeicher was born in Cologne, Germany in 1904 and his future wife Claire was born a year earlier in 1903. It is unusual for men to go after older women but when they have a round bottom and a filter flask in their hand anything can happen. Little is known about the lives of these two shady characters but 35 years after their births, they pop back up on the map. As a husband and wife chemist duo, they take the Borden reaction and improve on it. They use it to derive a halogenations reaction that uses an organic reaction of silver salts of carboxylic acids with halogens to give an organic halide. In all fairness to Borden though, they actually stole these reactions. They rename it the Hunsdyke Reaction, which is a combination of their last names, and publish it in 1939. 